Hi guys, welcome to the discussion of chapter 6, Expression of Biological Information, and in this video, we will focus on translation. These are the learning objectives that you need to complete at the end of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to explain translation and the stages involved in translation. These includes initiation, elongation which involve three-step cycles of codon recognition, peptide bond formation, and translocation, and finally termination. Let's begin by looking at things needed for translation. We first need the mRNA. The mRNA carries the code from the coding strand of the gene. We then need the ribosome. The ribosome is made up from the association of rRNA and several proteins. We then need tRNA to carry the amino acid towards the ribosome. The ribosome is consists of large subunit and the small subunit. The large subunit consists of three sites. These are the E site, the P site, and the A site. The small ribosomal subunit contain the site called the mRNA binding site. There are two types of tRNA. We have charged tRNA, or in other words, tRNA carrying amino acid, and we have empty or uncharged tRNA. There is a specific region in the tRNA called the anticodon. The anticodon match perfectly with the codon present on the mRNA. tRNA with specific anticodon will carry a specific amino acid. How does the empty tRNA being charged again? The charging of empty tRNA is carried out by the enzyme called aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. As you can see, empty or uncharged tRNA will be charged by this enzyme forming a charged tRNA. Each aminoacyl tRNA synthetase enzyme is specific for each amino acid. Now let's take a look at what specifically happened during translation. There are three stages of translation. These are initiation, elongation that consists of three step cycle of codon recognition, peptide bond formation, and translocation, and it ends with termination. Let's have a look at initiation first. Initiation begins when the small ribosomal subunit binds to the start codon on the mRNA at its mRNA binding site, like this. The initiated tRNA carrying methionine and with the anticodon UAC will pair up with the start codon. Next, the large ribosomal subunit will bind to the complex forming translation initiation complex. Please bear in mind that the initiated tRNA is located in the P site of the large ribosomal subunit. Now, the translation initiation complex is complete and the ribosome is now ready to start reading the mRNA and translating the code carried by the mRNA into proteins. Elongation starts with codon recognition. A charged tRNA with anticodon complementary to the codon that is present in the A site of the large ribosomal subunit begins to enter the A site. This then followed by peptide bond formation whereby the amino acid attached to the tRNA located in the P site of the large ribosomal subunit will begin to form peptide bond with the amino acid attached to tRNA located in the A site of the large ribosomal subunit. It will then be transferred to the tRNA located in the A site of the large ribosomal subunit, like this. This is then followed by translocation, whereby during translocation, the ribosome will move one codon forward. So therefore, translocating the tRNA that was located in the P site into the E site and translocating the tRNA that was located in A site into the P site. The empty tRNA will leave the complex. 
The cycle will then continue back to codon recognition, where another charged tRNA with anti-codon match with the codon present in the A site of the large ribosomal subunit enters the complex. Again followed by peptide bond formation, where peptide bond will be formed between the polypeptide chain attached to the tRNA in the P site with the amino acid attached to the tRNA in the A site. The polypeptide chain attached to the tRNA in the P site will then be transferred to the tRNA in the A site, like this. Translocation then follows, where the ribosome moves one codon forward, translocating the tRNA that was in P site into E site, and the tRNA that was in A site into P site. The empty tRNA in E site will exit the complex. These three-step cycles will continue until termination. Termination happens when the stop codon enters the A site of the large ribosomal subunit. In this case, the stop codon is UAA. There are three stop codons. These are UAA, UAG, and UGA. When stop codons enter the A site of the large ribosomal subunit, a factor called the release factor will enter into the A site of the large ribosomal subunit. It will then digest the bond that holds the polypeptide chain to the tRNA in the P site, like this. When this happens, the polypeptide chain is released and the translation complex dissociates.